a green light to go further and pass a national ban. A national ban. Remember what they're saying. They're saying there's no right to privacy, so therefore it's not protected by the Constitution. So it's left up to the states and the Congress, what they want to do. And now my Republican friends are talking about it, getting the Congress to pass a national ban in the extreme positions that they're taking in some of these states. That will mean the right to choose will be illegal nationwide if, in fact, they succeed. But let me tell you something. As long as I'm president, it won't happen because I'll veto it. I don't think the court, or for that matter, the Republicans who for decades have pushed the extreme agenda, have a clue about the power of American women. But they're about to find out, in my view. It's my hope and strong belief that women will, in fact, turn out in record numbers to reclaim the rights that have taken from them by the court. And let me be clear. While I wish it had not come to this, this is the fastest route available. I'm just stating a basic fundamental notion. The fastest way to restore Roe Ro, is to pass a national law codifying Roe, which I will sign immediately upon its passage on my, at my desk. <laughs>